Hello, Senesine here, and after Matt Camper and Pine Power Ally, they did the nice bus schedule update, I should do one too. This is also going to be an update for the upcoming TTT Long Island bus, <laughs> which will, and I'll show, and I'll tell you the, the plans, the hopes, but first, nice bus, of course, nice bus. Fall highlights. We've increased frequency on the N4X, N6X, N22X. We've increased frequency at the N20, N120G, 26. And, and it's a good thing they're doing that on the N78 because that needs an increase. N16 Express Service to Nassau Community College is back again for the fall semester. And yeah. For addition, service to the campus. Please stay, take the N16 or N43. Yeah, Pine Parallel is very familiar with the N16. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Rockville Center. We have increased frequency on... We've added trips to the Soundview Port Washington Shell. That's good, because so they get hardly any. And yes, later trips on that. N20... Uh, N88. Yeah, that's a problem, because the beach is open. has two bonus weeks. Unlike Eastchester, where Lake Isle, the pool I go to, closed on Labor Day. Mm -hmm. So... But they do have concert service, and, and what do you know? They repeat N43, as Pine Power I said. So let's look at the routes that are notable. Now, of course, they have... They have the uh, timed gaps, like time between buses, which isn't really... Accurate on on nice bus. I mean, it looks like it's every ten minutes, but I guess it is on the N four, but not on the N forty and forty one. Then that's the weekends, right there. N six. N six X. Then N6 from Yeah, this is kinda confusing. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, it is the different days of the week. And then nightly. It's kinda nice how they have nightly service. But yeah. Or the N16 because Pine Power I takes it. Mm -hmm. Now notice it's green because it runs less frequently. If you don't know the, the color scheme, which none of my colleagues have told you, viewers yet, oh, and there's going to be a new design for some of these routes like this. Orange means it runs every 15 minutes in general, green means every 30, and then blue is like hardly any service, and I just hate it when they do the blue. On some of the roots. Mm -hmm. Even though blue is my favorite color. Yeah. So this is Monday through Friday. This is the N27, which is there for some reason. And the N16X. But I can't find the weekend service. Is there even any weekend service on that route? I guess not. Mm -hmm. I don't visit Nassau County at all. I've never ridden nice bus before, so I don't. What am I to know? Then this unique route that goes on the North Shore, N20G and N20H. They have some N21 expresses that run straight too. Yeah, I don't know what these letters stand for. Then there's Saturday and Sunday. And even on Saturday, they have the expresses. Now, this video is going to take a long time. Like, we might need to be split because, you know, covering all the routes that are important to my colleagues. Now, I like how on the weekends they still haven't split it, so please don't split it on weekends, but on the weekday it needs to go back to normal, because this is just a, this is just chaos. You'll see on the N24 why it's chaos, unlike the N22, 
using the split route. It's not as it's not more efficient. Nice, okay. N twenty four. Now here's where it gets to be bad. Let's go. Weekends it's okay, but on weekdays you have missed connections. Like looking here. 820, 844. Like, you miss the 814 after getting in the 820. I will give nice credit that most of their routes run better, have more frequency than the Beeline bus, because that's the one thing nice is better about. Hmm? Yeah, I'm forgetting which one it is. Okay, it's Limbrook to Valley Stream, too. Oh, yeah, this is the one I was talking about that connects at New Hyde Park Station. So, you'll see here. And Saturday and Sunday, it's the same. And then, I know Pine Parallel doesn't live in Westbury anymore, but I'm gonna view this anyway. It's, it gives me historical vibe when watching the Pine News updates when he lived in Westbury. And this route's important to those people too. Baldwin to Westbury, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's green, so it runs less frequent, though. One of the good things about Pine Parallel being out of Westbury. <laughs> but then the end 40 and 41, it's a mess, and it's a complete mess, as Pine Parallel said. The routes don't run long enough. Look at that. They say they have 10 minute frequency, but it's really 15. They got the clock fraction wrong. The pi fraction wrong for the clock. And they need to have more service all the way to Mineola. And the one thing about the TTT is that it's not gonna cut routes short in any way. And it's not gonna do the split routes. So now I'm gonna view the this one for the last one. Of course, it's blue, meaning it's pathetic service, especially on weekends. Except that's not the weekends. Actually, it doesn't even run on weekends, actually. Well, this one does, but the other ones don't. And this one doesn't run on a Sunday, though. Pathetic. Sunrise Mall of Freeport. Hicksville to Sunrise Mall. On Monday through Friday. Okay. No facing away from the computer. I'm going to talk about the TTT bus plan. So, if I go with the standard steel one ton of steel, where I make ultra lightweight buses, there will be two million fixed route buses in service so sometime. Of those, 5,000 will go to the B-Line competitor, Westchester. 5,000 will go to TTT Long Island bus, not to be confused with MTA Long Island bus, which is now a nice bus. And in addition, like 10,000 to Suffolk County and, and, and uh, 70,000 to New York City. Eventually, there will also be either suburban or commuter rail service. And the routes for the buses in Westchester County, the numbering system is based off of like the equivalent areas of nice buses numbering, except multiplied by 10. We're gonna see some buses such as the TH series based off of the new flyer the typical new flyer and the new flyer LF. The XH series based off the Excelsior. The MH series that are not gonna, it's gonna be the one and the five and the seven OG based only. No buses based off crappy next gens, like no crappy next gen clones. Just ones, fives, and seven next, seven OGs. The ones based off of Neo Plans, the K series. Ones based off of the motor coach for the express buses, that will be called C, and then the S is like for the RTS style buses, and then the F is for the flexible metro style. I won't have any Gillig styles either, but then there's the, 
there would be several letters I don't know yet for the for the clones for the Navi like style buses. So that's gonna be it for today. There may be some changes regarding the TTT depending on how hard it is to get the standard steel one ton of steel block. Bye.